Did you know that the secret to lasting happiness isn't found in external achievements, accolades or possessions, but rather within yourself? In a world that constantly tells us to chase after the next big thing, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. If you want to cultivate a deep, abiding sense of joy and fulfillment, you need to start exploring the power of detachment and the value of finding happiness from within. In today's video, we'll embark on a transformative journey that reveals how letting go of past grievances, societal pressures, and the fear of missing out can unlock a profound sense of inner peace. We'll dive deep into understanding attachment, how our egos often steer us away from our true selves, and how confronting the illusion of the ego can help us reclaim our emotional well-being. So, if you've ever felt overwhelmed by life's expectations or struggled to find joy amidst the noise, this discussion is for you. Get ready to discover practical ways to embrace detachment, let go of what holds you back, and ultimately, learn how to cultivate happiness from within. Your path to a more fulfilled life starts right now. Number 1. The Power of Detachment – Reclaiming Control Over Your Emotions Let's take a moment to imagine a life where we're truly in control of our emotions. No longer riding waves of stress, hurt or frustration, but instead, navigating the world with a steady, unshakable calm. It's a powerful vision, isn't it? A place where we hold the reins, choosing where we invest our thoughts and energy. When we master the art of detachment, we begin to feel that freedom, like breaking free from invisible strings that hold us back. There's something deeply refreshing in the thought of not being weighed down by past disappointments or the actions of others. For a moment, think about the relief of living like that, where the things that used to drain you emotionally no longer have the same hold. Isn't that the kind of life we all deserve? Detachment, in its true form, isn't about coldness or indifference. Instead, it's about taking back control. When we hold on too tightly to people, situations or outcomes, we're essentially handing over our emotional well-being to forces outside our control. Stoicism, especially the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, sheds light on this concept beautifully. Marcus often reminded himself that external events don't dictate his peace. Rather, his response to them does. To him, Detachment was a way to preserve his strength, allowing him to focus on the things he could truly influence his own actions, perceptions, and will. Imagine your emotions as a kite floating in the air, with each string connected to a particular attachment, a person, a situation, or even a memory. The wind shifts unpredictably, pulling the kite in every direction. The more strings you hold, the more vulnerable your kite is to the wind's force. Stoicism teaches us to let go of the strings we don't need, to allow our kite to fly with greater freedom, to float with resilience rather than resistance. This act doesn't make you unfeeling, it makes you empowered. You're still connected, but only to what truly matters and what you can control. Think back to a time when someone else's actions threw you into a whirlwind of emotions. Maybe it was an unkind word from a friend, a disappointing outcome at work, or a challenging situation with family. We all have memories of moments like these, moments when we let our peace be dictated by someone else's choices. The hurt is real, the emotions are valid. But imagine if we could revisit these moments with a fresh perspective, choosing not to cling to the pain or resentment. That's the power of detachment. It doesn't erase our emotions, but helps us to hold them more gently, with understanding rather than attachment. Isn't there a part of you that's curious, wondering what it would feel like to fully embrace this mindset, to let go of those things that no longer serve you, and to invest in your inner peace? Picture yourself as the calm in the storm, 
unaffected by the winds that once seemed overpowering. This is the promise of detachment, a life where you are the author of your emotional world, rather than letting it be written by others. What if you could start that journey today? What small change could you make to begin loosening your grip on the strings that hold you back? Number two, understanding attachment, ego versus true self. We often talk about finding inner peace and there's a feeling of joy that comes when we envision ourselves as free from worry and inner conflict. Think about it life without that constant tug of attachment where our days feel lighter and our minds more focused. It's as if a weight has been lifted. Happiness is more accessible because we're not depending on someone or something to give it to us. Doesn't that sound like a beautiful way to live? However, to reach this state, we must look at the root cause of our attachments, our ego. Stoic philosophy teaches that attachment is not about the object or person itself, but about how our ego holds onto it. Think about a child, pure, joyful, and unburdened by the complexities of ego and attachment. A child finds happiness in the simplest things, not yet weighed down by insecurities or desires. Yet, as we grow, our ego begins to take over, influencing how we see ourselves and what we think we need to be complete. Ego convinces us that we must attach to people, ideals and outcomes to feel whole, but this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, this kind of attachment clouds our judgment, keeping us from experiencing our true essence, which is grounded in love and self-contentment. When we operate from a place of ego, our relationships and goals become driven by validation, approval and security. It's a game of the ego, which always craves more, never satisfied, always comparing. But what if we could step back and look at our lives from a different angle? Picture yourself living from a place of love, not ego. Imagine a life where you trust in abundance, believing wholeheartedly that what is meant for you will find you. This isn't wishful thinking, but a practice rooted in the stoic understanding of self-worth. When we see our attachments as products of the ego, we recognize the extra weight they add to our lives. Remember a time when you were deeply attached to a certain outcome or relationship. Perhaps it was a relationship you thought would last forever, a job you believed was your dream, or a version of yourself you couldn't let go of. We've all been there, and the nostalgia for those moments can be strong. But over time, you may have come to realize that those attachments were products of the ego, keeping you from living freely. Nostalgia can make it hard to let go, but it also shows us how much we've grown and how powerful it can be to release the need for control. Are you curious about what it would be like to detach from ego-driven attachments and live from a place of love? This journey is not about abandoning emotions or rejecting connections, but about recognizing that our true worth is not tied to any attachment. It's liberating to know that you are enough, with or without someone's approval or the attainment of a particular goal. This freedom opens doors, allowing us to welcome new blessings into our lives, free from the burdens of ego and unnecessary attachments. So, what would it feel like to let go of just one attachment today, trusting that you are whole and complete, just as you are? Number three confronting the illusion of the ego. There's a unique kind of joy in realizing we are not bound by others' opinions or the limitations of our own insecurities. Imagine feeling free from the pressure to constantly measure up, free from the fear of falling short. It's a beautiful, empowering feeling, isn't it? This sense of freedom is what Stoic wisdom offers us helping us to confront and release the illusion created by our ego. Our ego often plays tricks on us, making us believe that we're not enough or that others are better, happier or more fulfilled. It's this illusion that pulls us into comparison and attachment, convincing us that we need someone or something to feel whole. In relationships, for example, 
the ego might lead us to idolize others, putting them on a pedestal and believing they have something we lack. But as Stoicism reminds us, these beliefs are nothing more than illusions. We're all equally vulnerable and equally human, and no one holds a special ticket to happiness that we don't also possess within ourselves. Think about a time when you felt this kind of insecurity or self-doubt. Maybe it was when someone seemed to have what you wanted or when you struggled to accept yourself. In those moments, it's easy to forget our own value, to believe that someone else has a life that's somehow more complete. But if we look back, we realize that this insecurity didn't come from the other person. It came from within, from our own ego whispering doubts. The nostalgia for those times might even feel painful, but it's also a reminder that we are capable of overcoming these illusions, capable of finding true confidence. Curiosity begins to stir when we question these beliefs. What if we could see ourselves and others through a clearer lens, one that isn't distorted by insecurity or the need for validation? Stoic philosophy encourages us to do exactly this, to view others as equals, and to see ourselves as valuable, unique individuals without needing to prove it. This approach doesn't make us arrogant, it grounds us in our own worth, independent of external comparisons. Imagine approaching life with this mindset. How different would it feel to live each day knowing that your value doesn't change based on what others have or what they think of you? Confronting the illusion of the ego is a transformative experience, one that allows us to truly connect with ourselves. It's an invitation to step out of the shadow of comparison and into a place of genuine self-worth. What if, starting today, you could begin to see through the illusions, recognizing them for what they are? What would it feel like to let go of this false sense of lack, knowing that you are already whole? The journey toward this understanding is deeply personal, but it's a journey that brings us closer to a life of peace and resilience, grounded in the knowledge that we are enough. Number four, detachment in practice, letting go of the past and FOMO. Picture yourself standing on a beach, the waves gently lapping at your feet. Each wave is like a moment in your life, constantly flowing and changing. In this serene setting, Imagine that you can let go of the burdens you carry, past regrets, anxieties about the future, and the constant nagging fear of missing out, often referred to as FOMO. It's liberating to think about shedding these emotional weights, isn't it? Detachment isn't about indifference, it's about finding a peaceful relationship with our thoughts and feelings. It's about recognizing that we have the power to choose how we respond to life's events rather than allowing them to control us. In our fast-paced, hyper-connected world, the fear of missing out can be particularly overwhelming. Social media bombards us with images of friends attending parties, going on adventures or achieving milestones, all while we might feel stuck in our daily routines. This constant comparison can lead to feelings of inadequacy and dissatisfaction as we focus on what we lack rather than appreciating what we have. The Stoics taught that true contentment comes from within and that the external world is often beyond our control. By practicing detachment, we can reclaim our emotional stability and find happiness not in what we are missing, but in what we already possess. Reflecting on our experiences Think back to a moment when you felt overwhelmed by what others were doing or achieving. Perhaps you were scrolling through social media, seeing friends living their best lives while you felt stagnant. Now remember how liberating it felt to step away from that screen, to disconnect from the chaos, even if just for a moment. Nostalgia for those moments when you chose to disengage from the external world can remind you of your inherent power. You can decide what deserves your emotional investment and what does not. Curiosity about detachment encourages us to explore practical ways to implement it in our lives. What if, instead of feeling envy or resentment when we see someone else succeed, 
We viewed their success as inspiration. How can we shift our mindset from one of competition to one of appreciation? This doesn't mean we ignore our desires or ambitions. It means we approach them with a sense of detachment, understanding that our worth is not determined by external validation or comparisons. By letting go of the past, whether it be old grudges, missed opportunities or failures, we free ourselves to embrace the present moment. Imagine living each day with the understanding that every experience contributes to your growth and that your journey is uniquely yours. Practicing detachment is about embracing the now and finding joy in the simplicity of being. It's about recognizing that life is not a race and there is no finish line we need to reach before we can be happy. Instead of living in constant fear of missing out, we can cultivate a sense of gratitude for where we are right now. So, as you move through your day, consider how you can practice detachment. What emotional weights can you let go of? What can you appreciate in your life, rather than focus on what's missing? Number 5. The Path to Happiness – Finding True Value from Within As we explore the path to happiness, picture a lush, sunlit forest where each step you take feels lighter, each breath is infused with the fragrance of blooming wildflowers. In this serene space, happiness becomes more than just a fleeting emotion. It transforms into a profound sense of peace and contentment that resides within us. Many of us chase happiness through external validation, be it through accomplishments, relationships or material possessions. But what if the true essence of happiness lies not outside us, but within? The journey to uncover this inner treasure can lead us to a life filled with fulfillment and joy. Finding happiness from within is deeply rooted in the stoic belief that our perceptions shape our reality. Instead of seeking happiness through external sources, we must learn to cultivate it by nurturing our inner selves. This process often begins with self-reflection and understanding our values. What truly matters to you? Is it success, love, connection or personal growth? When we align our actions with our core values, we pave the way for genuine happiness. Think back to a moment when you felt truly content, perhaps during a quiet evening with a good book, a heartfelt conversation with a friend, or even when you accomplished a personal goal that held meaning for you. Those moments are a reminder that happiness is often found in simple pleasures and authenticity. Nostalgia can evoke powerful emotions when we remember times in our lives where we felt connected to our true selves, free from the pressures of societal expectations. Maybe it was a childhood memory where you played freely, unburdened by responsibilities or comparisons. Such memories can serve as guiding lights, reminding us that happiness doesn't always require grand achievements. It's often the small everyday moments that bring the most joy. Reflect on how those moments, where you embraced your true self without judgment, can be replicated in your current life. How can you carve out space for these experiences today? Curiosity drives us to ask how we can actively cultivate this inner happiness. What practices can we adopt to reinforce our self-worth and align our lives with our values? Engaging in mindfulness and gratitude practices can open pathways to deeper self-awareness. Journaling your thoughts and feelings, practicing meditation, or simply taking time each day to reflect on what you are grateful for can shift your focus from external validations to internal affirmations. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of purpose, recognizing that your happiness does not depend on others' opinions or your achievements, but rather on your perspective and how you choose to engage with the world. The path to happiness is not a destination, it's a continuous journey of self-discovery and growth. By learning to find true value from within, we empower ourselves to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. 
we realize that happiness is not something to be pursued, it is something to be cultivated, nurtured and embraced. So, as you move forward in your journey, ask yourself, how can I connect with my true self today? What small steps can I take to foster happiness from within? As we wrap up this exploration of detachment and inner happiness, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let us know your biggest takeaway from today's video. If you've watched this far, go ahead and drop a hundred. This shows you're part of that rare group who truly seeks to transform their life. Remember, if you're serious about reclaiming control over your emotions and discovering lasting joy, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together we can continue this journey of self-discovery and empowerment, helping each other grow and thrive every step of the way.